Hi there, YouTubers. My name's Chris. Turn around and doing this video because I didn't really find much out there for using pond water for drinking water for a whole house. So if you like the video, please click the like button. And if you're interested in this type of stuff, please subscribe. All right, getting started. So we got the pipe that goes out to the pond and it's trenched all the way through the yard over here to the house. Comes in through the basement, we got a check valve. Comes up into the Myers pump, which I reused from the old system. You see the old piece of copper there. I turned around and went with PVC. We got a five micron sediment filter. Catch any yuckies coming in from outside. And I got a blow off valve on the bottom of that in order to clean it out. So water turns around, comes from the pump, goes down to the bladder pressure tank. And I got a pressure switch on there that eventually I'm gonna hook up. I'm gonna take the one that's on the pump off. But for right now, I'm still using it the way it is. So moving over, I have a ball valve on either side of where my injection points are for the alum and for the chlorine tanks. This is my alum tank. I'm using a Series 100 Chemtech uh, pump. And I'm also using another Series 100 Chemtech pump and container for the chlorine. These two are injected right here. And like I said, I have ball valves on either side in case I need to do any kind of maintenance. That way I don't have to drain the tanks. Water goes down and over and into the bottom of the first holding tank. Now, and then the water will turn around and exit the top. It'll give it time for the alum and the chlorine in order to make contact with the water. I think they say that you have to have a minimum of at least 45 minutes making contact. So, which I have more than enough water here. And I have a spigot on the top in order to check the chlorine level. That water turns around and goes down to the bottom of the next tank. And it gives it even more time in order for that to keep contact make sure we kill off everything that's inside the water and also any kind of settlement to turn around and fall to the bottom of the tank. And then we turn around and we have another spigot so I can check it, what kind of levels we're at, and then it comes down and over to my sediment filter. This will automatically blow back the filter at 2 a.m. That's what I have it set to do. And then after it leaves that, it goes up and then over to the plumbing of the house. I do have a, another filter that is underneath the sink in the kitchen and for drinking water, just to make sure that we have removed everything and that the water is pure. And going down to the bottom of the two tanks, I also made a blow-off system with two ball valves that I can turn around and blow off any kind of sediment that falls to the bottoms of the tanks. And then that turns around and goes up overhead all the way across the basement. Also have the blow off for if I can turn around and get a view of it. There we go. This is the blow off also for the sediment filter, which comes right out of the back of that. So both of these can turn around. This one will blow off automatically. The tanks. I have to turn around and do those manually. And they turn around and both tee together and then over and down into the sump pump. So, 
If you found this video interesting, or if you liked it, please do me a favor, like the video, and if you have any questions, please comment on the video, and I'd be glad to answer any kind of questions I can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.